All right, this is Epistory, as you can see. And from the uh, subtitle, you can probably guess it's a typing game. Um, it came out on Wednesday, uh, simultaneous launch across uh, three platforms, Windows, Mac and Linux. And uh, I bought it today because I just thought it looked quite lovely. You can see it's a, a, a stylized cartoony thing. Your character is riding that uh, three-tailed giant fox. Uh, all the menus are accessible by typing, which is actually quite handy. I discovered that earlier. I played, I played about ten minutes of it. Once upon a time. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. There was a girl. And she rode upon the back of a great fox. But they were lost. They had always been lost. So the concept of the story is... Until the path appeared. And so she followed. a writer. And you're seeking inspiration. And your inspiration has, uh, has become, uh, well, I wouldn't say materialised, but is was the represented by was she this girl it? riding the fox. Now, she didn't these know. are the standard controls. She was just there. Because uh, allegedly... A bit easier for typists, there we go. But you can use your gaming controls. You see, that's. Uh, All of a sudden, she knew where she was. Switch between them just by pressing the right keys. She was home. The woods had sheltered her as a child. So, uh, I was sort of expecting them to be tank controls. I say normal gaming controls. Uh, I don't know why I expected that. But it does confuse me. The path was slightly. blocked before her. But they're not. They're just. Your character will go in the direction of the uh, key you're pressing, which I suppose is intuitive enough. So, press space, yes, space again, type in mode. And then the type word comes up to defeat. Path stretched deeper into the Whatever course. it is you're facing. She remembered animals frolicking in the glades. She remembered planting flowers. Uh, so inspiration points I think is that thing along the bottom there. Let's do that. Yeah. Boom. And I reveal a new zone. She felt the woods begin to wake up around her. Now I do think this, the whole look of it is, is quite beautiful. I like this sort of paper unfolding to reveal the world's uh, feel that I've got going. Very nice. Who? Where? Why? What? There's also... Can't walk in that. There's also a nice story going on. Uh, like I said, I played it for ten minutes. And I've got to the tree. So I played it for the ten minutes, so I got somewhere in the story. I'm just going to... I am not a writer. This is not my news. It sounds like she's in denial there. Let's go from this chest. Oop, bottle. There we go. And I've earned inspiration points. So I can hit tab to go to the menu and I can do an upgrade, which do with exactly the same mechanics as, as 
the rest of the game. You can probably hear me clacking away on a mechanical keyboard here. Now this stuff is rooms, so I'm assuming we unlock that later. I've not figured it out yet. The more she remembered, the stronger she felt. She remembered exploring the twisted paths. Let's go over here and do that. She remembered discovering precious stones. So I can get that down here. Not at all. Yep. So the actual gameplay consists of hitting space and typing in the words. There are various achievements for typing speed and a number of uh, she would have to burn the brambles before she could pass through them. A number of consecutive correct letters. Uh, I missed one there. Remember finding magical things in there. That's my achievement. That's my achievement messed up. Now we can get this sprint. I don't know if it actually does any good. I'm just going to stick to stick to the existing ones for now. So I think I've cleared this area. I know I've got to unlock the new zone. So can I go into that? Ooh. Dangers awaited beyond the forest, sensing a terrible wrongness. She looked up. So here we can see the story. The fire to fell from the sky. Right, cool. Had a star died? Had the moon fallen? She didn't know, but she wasn't home anymore. Chitinous chattering creatures began to appear. Oh, cool, now we get some fighting. What should you do by typing? Oh, this way. Insectile things which sought to hurt. With their scything claws. So, I won my first battle, just about. I think I can resurrect. Can I resurrect that? No. No. Yeah, I can do something about that, look. So, so far, as far as I can tell, that's, that's the game, more or less. I'm, I'm quite intrigued by the, the story. I can do the typing, more or less. I am a bit two fingers eat, but it seems to be enough. Ooh. Interesting. I've not been in here before. There are sort of combos if you type a number of words uh, correctly together. The trees begin to give way to ash and char. Yeah, 
Take me, yes. There we go. So, if you're alright at typing and you can spell, this is this probably This was where the meteor game. had struck. If you're not quite so hot at the old the uh, typing here. or the spelling, you might struggle with it a bit. Or did it begin? But it's an intriguing game. Definitely. Oh, you can't get now up. Well. Ooh, into the next level. Intriguing game. Um, I like the art style, like I said. Uh, the gameplay is is kind of fun, this whole typing malarkey. And uh, yeah, the story seems intriguing. So, if you want to support people who support Linux, this is definitely a game worth checking out. Like I said, day one, day one Linux release. And uh, seems to be technically quite sound and, and work very, you know, works very well for me. Uh, check it out on Steam. It's on sale at the minute for the launch until, I believe, Monday. That's Epistory.